taking a little break. Been dredging this thing for a few hours. It's just hard, it's so shallow. Keeps sucking air and having a lot of issues with that, but it's working a little at a time. Getting my bearings back, but um, we're gonna try to go down for a few more hours. Hopefully find some gold, do a cleanup at the end of the day. So I'm excited to clean the box, see what's in there. We took a big chunk of creek out of there. So that's pretty exciting and this looks pretty good. The bedrock's doing some crazy stuff. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that big, what looks like a big boulder up there. <clears throat> that's a big piece of bedrock and it's going up and down and it's doing all kind of crazy stuff. A lot of quartz veins running through it as well. Pretty cool, beautiful stuff. Wish I could stay out here all day, every day. I'd be here at 365. Christmas morning, I'll be out here. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Okay, we just did another two and a half hours of dredging, looking really good. The bedrock's doing some crazy stuff, look really good. So I'm gonna clean this up here, just this mat, and uh, see what we got. And we gotta get going, it's getting ready to get dark. pretty good I don't want to clean it down too much because I don't want to lose I used I forgot my pan bin I want to pan it in there but a couple more hours I think it'll go got finer looking pretty good though all right we'll be back down tomorrow and try this again hopefully get more hours in the box and then before I do a full cleanup uh, start with the fresh box tomorrow. All right, we'll be back. Hey guys, we're back. We're in the backyard here, back to Florida. I'm doing my cleanup of the seven days. I think it's about seven days that we dredged there. Um, I got the hours written down, the location where we dredged. That's another thing I wanted to talk about a little bit. Is it's great if you're going to the same place all the time. Take data down, figure out how how deep it was to bedrock, color in on the little map where you were. That really helps you next time know and start putting pieces of the puzzle. You might notice every time on the right side, the bedrock's going up and you get less gold. So you stop messing on the right side, pinpoint more on the left side, see what the bedrock's doing. But anyway, um, 
keep track of the hours, get your goal per hour, see how it changed daily or weekly or eat by trip by trip. All these things help you put pieces together and figure out what's going on. But um, I had about a, a full five gallon bucket and then a half. I'm done with the full, running the half, starting to see a little bit of color in there. Looking pretty good. I'm excited about it. Of course, it's never enough, but um, we'll have to see where we are. Got a really nice nugget on the trip, this one, this time, so that was very exciting. My biggest nugget yet. It beat it by just a few tenths of a point. So, very exciting. Show you, make sure you guys see that in the full cleanup, and we'll be done soon. I, I gotta paint it all up first. Probably won't finish today. It's getting dark already. It's starting to get a little late. But uh, we'll be done soon. We'll get back to you. All right, here we go. Another cleanup. This here is from three days, roughly, uh, roughly about 15 hours. And um, we're going to see what it weighs. pieces. This stuff is super duper jagged. Go ahead and zoom in and look at some of these. They're not all that big, but they are really jagged. That one there especially. You can tell it just has not traveled very far. The gold's definitely definitely getting more coarse as we move forward in the creek. Very exciting stuff. Okay, we'll go ahead and see what we got. Hope it's over a gram. I think it's definitely a come on. Oh yeah. All right, 1.61, not too bad. Not too bad, three days, obviously we want more. But hopefully as we move forward, um, like I said, it should get better and better. And uh, it's enough to keep me addicted. All right, thanks for watching, we'll be back.